Hey guys, Kevin here. I wanted to do a video for you guys over the last few days. I had a couple of news stories I wanted to cover, but because I was posting about tweets, I couldn't do it because Twitter stopped working because of the recent Windows 10 update. And there were a few other things that happened as well because of this update. And I want to talk about them in this video because, yeah, it was very annoying. Uh, I'm not a fan of Windows updates. Not the fact that they're not updating the software, just the way that they go around it. You can choose automatic and you can choose manual or you can disable uh, updates. I generally disable all updates. One reason is because I do mine through my computers, but another reason is just because when you select manual, it still updates. It still updates automatically sometimes. You know, it'll say, when do you want to update? And you're like, I'm working, I'm working, and then it'll just update. It's very, very frustrating. If you just use your PC or your laptop for Facebook or browsing the web, it's probably not a big inconvenience. But if you're working, if you're producing videos, if you're writing articles, if you're you know working on spreadsheets, anything that's productive, you have no time to save what you're doing. You can lose like an hour's worth of work and it, it's very, very frustrating. So I disable updates. Despite that, despite the fact that I disable updates, there has been a few occasions when Windows has still updated. I have disabled updates. Now, it's very easy to, to, do, um, to do that. What you do is you go into services, just search for services in the, in the search bar. I'll bring up this window here and you go scroll down. You'll see, you know, there's a lot of different options here. But when you go down to Windows Update, you can change it. And, you know, you've got automatic delayed start, automatic, manual and disabled. I choose disabled. And what I do is per periodically I change that. And then when I've changed that and I've changed it to, like, for example, just now, if I change this, um, if I show you update. So um, where's the, right. So there's Windows Update, right? And it's saying last checked. But I have it disabled, so it won't allow, it shouldn't be allowing me to check for any, or it's checking there. Um, it shouldn't, it normally doesn't allow you to check for anything, it'll say an error, but maybe because I've just changed it back there. Um, but what I would normally do is I would change it to manual, I would check for an update, so I do this maybe once a month. Uh, if there's any updates, I install them, I, I reinstall everything when I want them to be reinstalled. This, you know, gives me control, puts me in the driving seat. Um, you must close all dialogues. Okay, I will, I will. Um, the problem that happened with me was very strange is that um, Twitter wasn't working on my browsers, wasn't working on Chrome, wasn't working on Firefox. I spent like too much time on this, five or six hours. Um, now, Twitter was still working on my phone, so I knew it wasn't a Wi-Fi issue or you know any kind of proxy or anything like that. Um, it was working via Tor browser, so it kind of led me to believe it was a certificate issue, and it was, it was like an SS SSL certificate issue. On Chrome and Firefox, Twitter didn't have any kind of SL, SSL certificate. I actually went on to Tor, I downloaded this certificate, I uploaded it, still wouldn't work. Now, the reason this is important for me is because as a YouTuber, I refer to tweets a lot for news, for, you know, things like that. And the fact that when after uploading a video, I tweet and it's easier to do it through my browser that I'm working on my PC rather than jumping over to my phone. So it's part, you know, I, I use Twitter, it's the main social media platform I use, but it's also a platform that I use for news. It's how I stay in touch with a lot of news. Um, it didn't work, and eventually, I, I just thought, right, I'll update Windows and see if this fixes it. And it did. I don't know how, I don't know why, but a few days ago, when this new update came around, I believe it was a few days ago, Twitter stopped working, and, you know, after I applied the update, it started working. You know, Twitter was working again, but... I noticed some problems today as well. There's some, there were some other problems. I restarted the computer. Twitter stopped working again. I had to restart, and then I was good to go. But there was a lot of different problems that arose because of this update. Um, I've got... Where's... I think I've got... Oh, did that close that window? Right, if I show you the... If I show you the... Um, as I said, you can go to Windows Updates, right? Uh, see if you go to view, view Update History. You can see this here. Version 1803. And when you click on what's new for this update, um, here, what's new, it'll tell you different things that are available, all new features. Now, that's all good. I'm not complaining about that. What I am complaining about, uh, firstly, is, well, the fact that Twitter wasn't working, that may have been an issue, but I had to go through today and I had to remove all, lots and lots and lots of different uh, apps. They installed, you know, like Spotify, I don't have that installed. Why is it installed? I don't use the service. Nothing against the service, but I don't use it. Uh, I must have removed about five or six games that were installed. And like, I don't want these games. Um, I don't want these games. I didn't ask for these games to be installed. It's not something I want. 
stop doing this. It's very, very annoying. It's very, very annoying. Now, that wasn't the only problem. When I started to record, I couldn't actually record. And then I noticed, like, why is it stuttering? Why is the video and audio stuttering? Well, it was because these two were linked, which basically means I had it in SLI. And so I had to then go in here for whatever reason. When Windows updated, it put both my graphics cards back into SLI, despite the fact I've not had it in SLI in, like, two months or so. Put it back into SLI. So then I had to disable it. When you disable SLI, you need to close Chrome, Firefox, all your different apps. So I had to go through like five minutes, make sure that's all saved, make sure that's saved and close everything. Uh, a pain. I don't know why that happened, but it did. Um, I also ran into it. It changed my audio settings as well for some reason, but I've changed those back. Um, the whole thing, though, it's not about the fact, you know, the Twitter issue is probably more to, to, uh, it's more to do with Twitter than it is with anything else. It's the way Windows handles these updates. It's, it's the fact that they force these updates on you. Um, I started to run into problems until I installed that update, but I don't like the fact they install games. I don't like the fact that they changed my NVIDIA graphics settings from a, a, from like separated to SLI. I didn't ask for that. Why are they doing that? Just little, little things like that. Obviously, I do want security. I do want new features and things like that, but anytime I install Windows updates, something always happens. Something always happens, and then I have to do a rollback, and I need to install again. It's never smooth. It really is never smooth. Um, so rant over. Let me know uh, if you've run into these problems as well, guys. Um, as I said, this uh, version appears to be 1803. Um, there wasn't too many updates, um, you know, individual updates, but it says feature updates. Really don't like the fact they're installing all these apps without me asking because I have removed all these games before and then they installed them again. And I have bought a, a Windows Pro key. So why the hell are they doing this? Why are they doing this? So rant over i can go back to doing videos now um but if you've run into this problem guys let me know i'd like to hear if you went through the same thing till next time guys take care